whilst I'm not actively running Hyperland nowadays, I still love the project, and I love the fact that someone has taken the idea of a W Roots compositor and brought back the kind of customization we'd expect to see over on some of the X11 offerings. Yes, I know there are projects like Wayfire, and Wayfire is also a great project as well, especially if you like those compiz style of effects. But Wayfire is a far slower moving project, and I don't know anyone who actually uses it. So there's a lot less excitement over doing things in Wayfire. Hyperland is absolutely massive right now. Fun fact, only about 600 stars behind Sway. So it's probably going to overtake it soon. One of the things I touched on in my early Hyperland videos was plugins. Now, there were certainly a few that existed, but installing them was kind of a pain, and it, it was just a whole mess of a situation. Now, there was a thing called Hyperload, which is a plugin to manage installing your plugins. So it's a plugin that is also a plugin manager. But it would be nice if something like this was built directly into the project. And as of just a few days ago, exactly that has happened. Add HyperPM, a Hyperland plugin manager. Adds a new plugin manager, deprecating Hyperload. Better integrated, never breaking, hopefully. Never say never breaking, because I guarantee there's going to be some random commit where there's a regression that completely breaks everything. Because it wouldn't be the first time I've seen that happen. Now, the main problem with something external to the project is when a new version comes out, if some like minor changes happen, there needs to be some coordination with an external developer. They need to go and fix it themselves. And it's just a whole mess. With something built directly into the project, if something changes that breaks the plugin manager, the developer of the plugin manager is the developer of the compositor, so it's really easy to make that change and make sure everything lines up before a new release is done. And unless you're watching commit by commit, it's not like you're gonna keep in line with Vaxry's entirely random release schedule. This was five days ago, we have one here that was last week, then one before that that was November 12th, <laughs> then November 12th again, and then November 12th, and then November 8th, and then October 17th. Like, there is no consistency here. When it is done and Vaxry feels like making a release, that's when the release happens. So dealing with that as an external dev, good luck. Good luck. Now, the dev of Hyperlo did also comment on the plugin manager saying, looks good at a rough glance. Having it integrated is going to be way, way easier for people to keep stuff in sync also gets the maintenance burden, which I've admittedly not been great at, away from me. Though if you ever want some help on this, I can contribute. So, it seems like they weren't that interested in doing it anyway, it's just, somebody had to do it, so it might as well be him. Now, all of this stuff about using plugins and how to install them has been documented on the Hyperland wiki, this is the best place to go, but it's all pretty straightforward using the plugin manager. Pretty much all you do is say, Add the plugin manager and then link to the repo. You can list out the plugin you've installed with the list command. You can then enable the plugin with the enable command, disable with the disable command, and then load them with the reload command. That also do like a reload as well. So if you want to like update a plugin, you're developing a plugin, reload is going to be the same command you use, whether it's initial loading or loading afterwards. And then you want to update, you use the update command. Like there is nothing complex about this plugin manager. It's not trying to reinvent the wheel, do anything crazy. It is the most basic of basic plugin managers. There's no plugin repo, plugin searching, anything like that. You have to go and find the plugin yourself. But once you do, it just installs them. Whilst it would be great and convenient for the user, I don't know if Vax would be interested in having some sort of a centralized Hyperland plugin repo. You just go to this one place and all the plugins are there because that's going to require some moderation. And if it's got like a website and you've got to pay for the website, you've got to deal with the hosting, you've got to update the server. It's just a lot of extra little things for very little benefit, especially considering just how many plugins are currently available. We're still in the fairly early times with this project, so there's only a handful available in an even smaller pile that you even want to be using. But maybe when there's like, you know, 30, 40, 50, 100 plugins available, maybe at that point the idea of a official plugin repo 
would be nice to at least consider doing. On that note, how would we actually go about finding plugins? Well, the FAQ does have a nice addition about that. Where do I find plugins? Try looking around here. You can also see a list at Awesome Hyperland. Note it may not be complete. Here is DuckDuckGo. <laughs> just search the internet and maybe, just maybe, you might find them. The other one, Awesome Hyperland. This is just a list of nice things you might want to use with Hyperland. So as it currently stands, why would somebody even want to use a plugin? What is currently available that's worth going through that hassle? Well, the first place you might want to check out is Vaxbury's own repo. This is the repo of plugins where he calls them official plugins. What they are are Vaxbury decides to mess around with something stupid and then decides he's going to release the source code. Some of these are actually useful, but the others are just like, here's an idea I had. Here's the code for it. First one is Borders++. Plus Plus. This is what I mean by just weird throw things out there. Somebody was like, hey, I would like the ability to add multiple borders on my windows in Hyperland. So this is a plugin that lets you add two extra borders. I don't know why anybody would want this. Like, I'm sure it's some weird, like, rising thing and somebody is going to get something useful out of it. But he didn't feel like it deserved to be, like, actually in the project itself. So here it is for those weird people who want it. Now, the next one is CSGO Vulcan Fix, which sounds like a really weird, very specific plugin and kind of makes sense to be a plugin. But what it actually does is pretty useful. So for some reason, CSGO and CS2 are locked to your native resolution and are kind of wonky with anything that's not 16 by 9. This lets you force a fake resolution that should just deal with the problem. Hyperbars is one I have zero interest in. As you can see from my windows, I don't use status bars or whatever you want to call them. This is a plugin that lets you have them on Hyperland. Now, they look kind of terrible, and I'm sure you could spend some time doing some styling to make them fit in quite a bit more. But once again, people were just asking for it, so here's a plugin for it. I don't know why this one's not just like a core feature of Hyperland, but when you have a project like this, I guess it is going to be fairly opinionated. But considering the developer of Hyperland made the plugin to do this feature, that seems like an extra step just for no reason. Hyper Trails is one I personally wouldn't use, but I guess it does have an appeal if you're into that like rising sort of thing. So this leaves a trail as you drag the window around. This color can be configured with just a very simple color option. Now, it would be kind of neat if there was like a gradient option as well, and maybe you customize like how big the, uh, like how wide the, the trail is, but right now it's a fairly simple plugin. Also, it's apparently um, not very performance uh, optimized. <laughs> Which makes sense, it's just a plugin that was thrown together. And the last official plugin is Hyper WinRap, which is a clone of XWinRap for Hyperland. This lets you set an application as your wallpaper. Now, most of the time, you're probably not going to care about that, but if you want to have something like, I don't know, C Matrix be your wallpaper, you could do that. If you want to have a video as your wallpaper, you could do that. Is not my jam but I know there are people that like to do that. As for other plugins, obviously check out Awesome Hyperland. Also, there is a general convention used on GitHub, setting a Hyperland plugin as the topic. Here you're gonna see a couple of things. There's not that many, and there are a couple of things in here that aren't actually plugins that are still using Hyperland plugin, but there are some cool things. One of those being hyper focus. Now I use window borders. So when a window is in focus, there is a border around that window. I don't know why you wouldn't use window borders. Window borders are great. There are some people that don't like to do that though. This is a plugin that adds the option of making that window flash or having the window slightly shrink just to indicate which one you are currently focused on. I think this is more annoying than just having a border around a change, but the option is here for you. For you X River users out there, there is a plugin you might want to mess with. That being Hyper River. 
This lets you make use of river layouts inside of Hyperland. Now there are some caveats because the way the tiling is done works slightly differently. But with those exceptions, you can just keep using your old layout providers just fine in Hyperland. Speaking of people moving from an old compositor, are you a Sway or i3 user? Do you like manual tiling? I don't know why you do, but there is an option for you. That being Hi3 or HY3, however it's supposed to be said. This gives you i3 and Sway-like manual tiling in Hyperland. I genuinely hate manual tiling, and whenever I use Sway or i3, I use an auto tiling script. But if you really like the idea, this is for you. Also, this is one of the better supported Hyperland plugins. A lot of the plugins are built against Hyperland Git. This one actually has clear releases set up for different versions of Hyperland. The other ones, you're kind of on your own and got to make sure you're lining things up to make sure that it's not trying to do something a little bit too new. Now, if you're like me and not a giant fan of shared workspaces, try out Split Monitor Workspaces. So what this is, on my awesome WM right now, I have workspaces 1 to 9 on my main monitor. I also have 1 to 9 on my second monitor and my third monitor. On Hyperland, that's not how it works. You have one to nine, and that's split across each individual screen. So I might have one to five on my main screen, six and seven on my second screen, and eight and nine on my third screen. I understand the value in both of these models. I like my one because I like to use a lot of workspaces, and very quickly, I can make use of 9. Hypergrass for adding in touch gestures. Now, I'm not generally a fan of touch gestures on a Tyler, but I could see value in things like three finger swiping to go to another workspace and things like that. And for those who like transparency but not true transparency, Hyperlens. Normally, a transparent window is going to show what's behind it. This doesn't do that. Instead, it lets you set a custom texture. So it's more like setting a background to the windows rather than what transparency currently does. Maybe none of these plugins are that exciting for you. And it's going to take a while for more plugins to be made because they have to be written in C++ unless someone was to make some other bindings that could be used. Right now, though, C++ is your only option which is a fairly big barrier to entry when you compare it to something like GNOME, where people write everything in JavaScript. So it's going to take a while, but now that it's a bit easier to install them, maybe you'll see more people experimenting with them, trying things out, and as Hyperlane gets more and more popular, I would expect to see some really cool plugins coming out. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you run Hyperland? If not, what compositor do you use? Or maybe you're not even a Wayland user yet. Let me know what you're running. So if you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scrabs, and the Pay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me. And go check out that song. It's actually really good.